Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn about a new feature of Google Sheet that is tables. Yes friends, now we can create the tables like we create in Microsoft Excel in Google Sheets also. In Google Sheet, we have some extra and advanced feature also in the table. So let me quickly show you. As you open a new blank sheet, on the right hand side, you can see this new option that is tables. And from here, you can just create a new table. So we have lot of templates here. You can see, you can create the event task in the featured project task, content tracker or any other thing. And we have lot of categories here for event planning, for customer relations. We have the customer contacts or customer opportunity, whatever you want. So on a single click, you can just create a template like for project task. I just click here and it is available. So you can just close and you can see. Now from here, you can change the column data type also. So let me show you here. You can just go to on this drop down and here go to the edit column data type. It is a drop down. You can convert this to the checkbox or any date or text or number, whatever you want. Accordingly, it will appear there. You can add the new column. Simply just right click and insert a column and that column will appear here. All formatting will be applied. You can see you can format this table as per your requirement. Also to do that, you have to go to the format, go to the alternating colors. This window will appear and here you can select any table style. Just click on this, that color will be applied or this one or this one, whatever you want. Or you can customize it from here also. For example, for header, I want this color and for in place of color one, I want, let's say this color and here I want, let's say this color. Okay. But you can keep the standard color because they are very good. Now this was about the template. Okay. Now if you have some data already available, like here we have the data and here we have the data wherein we have name, date, sales, target. And here we can put target status. If sales is greater than or equal to target, then we can say met else we can say not met close the bracket and just fill the formula. So this is filled. Now this is our ready data. And if we want to convert this data into a table, we can simply select this data, go to the format and say convert to table. Automatically this data will be converted into the table. Now here you can choose the data type also go to the column edit. So it has taken none. Okay, so you have to decide the data type. This is text and this is a date. So you can choose the data type. So I'm quickly taking the data type and here we can say this is currency and target is also currency. So automatically it is showing in the proper way. And this is formula, which is a text. All right. If you want to add a new column, you can just quickly add, let's say, checkbox and enter that column will come to this and all formatting will be applied. Okay. And here you can just change the data type as checkboxes. As you change the data type as checkboxes, that checkboxes will appear here. Okay. Another thing is you can convert the data type as a drop down also. For example, we have only four names. So what we can do, we can create a drop down, go to the column and say drop down. Okay, so it has taken all four names you can see and automatically it has converted to the drop down. So what I can do, I can just add here new name. Let's say I'm taking here PK as I enter here PK, you can see a new row has been added to the table here. You can double click and add a date here. You can enter any currency. If you try to type here, let's say ABC, then it will show this flag which means it is uh, invalid here. You have to enter the currency. So let's enter here 40 here. I enter 90 automatically. This formula is applied. I didn't fill down this formula and this checkbox also. Okay. So this is the beauty of the table. Now I will tell you some other key features. You can create the group by also. 
So let's say we have four names here. We want to create the group by by the names. So just go to this drop down and here you can say group by column. As I click, you can say first it is taking the whole data for Jack, then for PK, then for Raj and then for William. Okay, so it has group by. Okay, you can rename the table also. Just double click here and this is the sales data. All right, so I have renamed it as a sales data. And if you see, this is a filter view. You can save this view with some name. So let's say I'm saying group by name. Okay, now just click here and you can exist the view. So this is the normal data. And you can again click and group by name. Then it will show this view. Similarly, you can create the filter view also. So let's exit that on the filter view and here I'm putting the filter let's say on PK so just clear all select PK and I'm shorting the sales to the ascending okay and save this view click here and this is sales of PK okay now we can go here and exit view so if you want to see quickly the sales of PK you can just click and say sales of PK immediately that view will appear here exit that now the very useful thing is you can use the formula without taking the range you can just input the name of table let's say i want to get the total sales so i can use here sum and i don't need to select the range i can say sales data and here i can take the sales and just close the bracket hit the enter i'm getting the total sale even I haven't given any range. If I add a new record here, let's say Jack, same date and I'm putting here 100 and here 100. Now let's see. So here you can see that number has been changed automatically. All right friends. And now if you want to convert this table back to your normal range, you can click on this drop down and say revert to unformatted data click on ok so now this is the normal data all right so friends that is how you can use the table in google sheet this is very useful you should try it and you can let me know in the comments box in which use case you have used it all right friends friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching